Um, so today is Monday the 5th of October, so it's been like a full... Oh look, you can see me in the mirror. Hi. Um, it's been a full... Well, almost a full month since I last vlogged. But I uploaded my vlogs last night, Sunday, and um, I had so much fun like editing it and um, the stress of uploading all that stuff. Like I really just missed it and... It has been so long since I've done it because YouTube completely have changed the way that you upload videos and monotonize them, if that's the correct word, and stuff. So I, I'm still sort of trying to get to grips with that. But hopefully I didn't do like a completely appalling job. Um, but I've had so many nice comments from people that I've truly, truly missed. So thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. And... Um, yeah, really appreciate it. But I just thought that I might vlog again this week because um, there are a few things going on, so I thought it might be mildly interesting. Um, we So the Disney decorations came out today and I've had it marked in my calendar, it came out online. And um, they've had them out in the American store for a while and there have been a few decorations that I've really really wanted one of them was like the Cinderella dress in a glass display case um the pink one that she makes and then the ugly stepsisters shred it and um like an aerial one and a singing Elsa one so I wanted a few and um so I set my alarm to or I set a diary event to shop online for the Disney store as soon as it came out and I woke up at like 4am this morning by mistake and I went online and it wasn't released woke up at 8 o'clock went online it was released and so many of the decorations were sold out absolutely furious how can it be sold out like in the space of what four hours and it wasn't I don't even know what time the store opened so I just think that's really rubbish and I had a 20% off voucher from Disney so I wanted to be able to use that so I did get a few ornaments but they're not doing the Cinderella one in the UK online store yet I'm hoping it's still going to be released the Ariel one they had but that was sold out and then they had a singing Moana one and that was sold out too and then the thing that I am totally obsessed with is Mickey and Minnie gingerbread or ginger men Minnie and Mickey if you know what I'm talking about maybe I'll try and insert a photo here I'm really obsessed with that and um, when we went to Disneyland Paris last November, they had um, a few things. Actually, they had a magnet, which I'll show you what I'm talking about, if I can reach it. I can't, actually, because it's really high level. Uh, oh, I might be able to zoom in, though, so I might do that. Um, but they were selling the ears, the Minnie Mouse ears of those on the online store, and I've wanted them for so long, and I didn't know that they were going to come out. Went to get them. They sold out absolutely devastated devastated but they were doing a cookie jar of it so I got that and I did get a few other ornaments I did get the singing Elsa ornament and the reason why I wanted that so badly is because when we went to Disneyland Paris last year they had that ornament in the gift shop and we hadn't seen Frozen 2 um, so I didn't know the song Into the Unknown and this ornament was in the gift store of the hotel that we were staying in and people would just play it all day long and our room was you had to walk past the gift store all the time to get to our room so we literally heard that snippet like 50 million times and it was so irritating so we just like never want to see that ornament again but now I've seen Frozen 2 and I absolutely love it um so then I decided I needed that ornament because it a it would remind me of our Disneyland Paris holiday um and b just love love that song love the film um let me zoom in on that gingerbread Mickey and Minnie scene you know what I'm talking about Okay, so remember I can't see my camera properly, um, but this is like a metal beam on our room. And so we just keep magnets up here. You can't really, like they're not obvious in the room, but um, okay, I can't do this. Why do I do? Okay, here is the gingerbread one. Obviously in French. Oh. Okay, there we go. So that is a gingerbread Mickey and Minnie. So, Joyeux Noël. Is that my French accent? So, yeah, I think they're so cute. And I just love anything to do with them. 
and don't really go to Disney World at Christmas, so I've just never been able to get much merch. We did get a few ornaments for the tree in that shape. Um, I think we got like six of, this, of exactly the same ornament. But they're really cheap and they are amazing. Um, so anywho, I'm thinking that we might go to the Disney store, actual physical Disney store, which is in London. But you don't have to get the tube or anything because you can drive to Westfield and park in the car park. Um, and if it was really crowded, which I can't imagine it would be because we'd go after work and generally life is quieter after work anyway, under normal circumstances. But if we got there and it was really crowded and awful, we just would come home. Like we've done that the other day. We drove an hour to get to a shop and when we got there it was heaving really long queue, no one was social distancing, so we just essentially turned around and came home. And the reason why I say essentially is because we did try and go somewhere else, but it was the same problem there, so we did end up coming home. So if, like, we, the only problem is it could just be a little bit of a waste of time, but Alex is decorating um, the living room, which I'm going to show you as well, and I, he meant to finish yesterday, but he had a bit of a problem. I'll show it you guys later. Um, and so he didn't, so I know he wants to do that tonight and probably not go to the Disney store, but um, I just don't want those ears to sell out, like, make more stuff Disney, we all want it. Anyway, I need to go because it's, I've got a meeting soon as someone wants to speak to me before the meeting, um, but I just had to speak to you about Disney and say hi and that I might be doing, well I am doing a weekly vlog because we might be going to the Disney store, fingers crossed, it's up to Alex. And then this weekend I'm actually going to Dorset to stay with my best friend, she's just bought a house. Um, so I thought I would do some sneaky vlogging there as well. Um, so yeah, see you. Um, uh, that was Alexa. I just thought I would give you an update. So I spoke to Alex and he said that we can go to Disney in Westfield tonight, which is very exciting. But I thought they closed at 8 p.m. but they actually closed at 7 and I just, I'm not sure if we're going to make it on time because Alex doesn't get home generally from work until 26 and then he has to shower straight away to decontaminate um, and it takes at least 50 minutes to get there if there's zero traffic, which isn't going to be the case, um, which would give us like 10 minutes of shopping. So I don't know how we're going to do it unless Alex can leave work early and I've asked him if there's any possibility of him doing that. But um, who knows? So I don't know if we're going tonight. Uh, but you will be the first to know. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so red. Guess where we're going? Say hi, Alex. Hello. Um, we're on our way to London, which is really exciting. Um, so Alex did manage to leave work a bit early. And um, I just asked him what he told work. And he told them the truth. He was like, Claire wants to go shopping, buy something from a shop in London. And they were like, go early. But then annoyingly, like, when Alex got home, I didn't know Alex could get home early because he didn't tell me until he was leaving. And I was in a meeting, so then Alex was in the room while I was in my meeting. I was feeling really stressed because um, I wanted to go and this woman was talking for ages in the meeting. Because um, I do find that sometimes, like, when people work from home alone, sometimes I think they go out of the company on Zoom. And so sometimes you just can't, like, get away from people. Um, but also people probably assume you don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, so anyway, so we're on our way and I think we should have a good half an hour in the Disney store. Like with parking and getting to the shop and stuff. So that's really exciting. So I just wanted to check in and tell you guys because the next time I film, hopefully we're going to be in the Disney store. Unless something happens like traffic or if it's not like social distancing or if there's a queue, like anything. You have to have low expectations, is what I've learned these days. Hope for the best, expect the worst. I'm sure that's not something we should normally live our lives by, but um, for now, that's probably realistic. So I'll hopefully see you in there. Okay, we can have the conversation. <laughs> I thought you might, I thought we'd have this conversation on camera. I just said to Alex, I can't believe we're in, oh look, Grandville. It's always really sad when we come to Westfield because it's right next to the Grenfell Tower um, and 
I just always feel quite emotional when I see it. Um, and I just don't know what they're planning to do with it. I mean, I thought they were going to demolish it. Maybe they're not then, I don't know. It's a big tower. It's a big tower, but something needs to happen. Um, anyway, we were just saying when, I can't believe we're in London, because we've not been in, the last time I was in London was for work at the end of, Feb end of January. Yeah, last time I think it was last year. You don't think you've for been me. to London this year? No. So we haven't been to Westfield this year, no, because we've got an amazing new shopping centre um, at home, so we just come here less. We used to come here to Westfield quite often. Um, but yeah, I had to come for work at the end of January. Um, and I think that is the last time that I came. Oh, maybe I came again for work, possibly. February would be the absolute latest day. So we haven't been to London for so long. That's mental. Um, oh, sorry. I feel like Alex needs to see windows. I don't know. I get so red in the afternoon. Everyone in London is crazy, driver. Okay, I'm going to stop filming because I feel like... I'm in your visual. No, it's fine. Okay, we're, we're on the right track now. Um, but we're almost there. So first, um, and it's ten past six, so first hurdle of getting into London without mega traffic is, we're over the first hurdle. Woo! Um, second hurdle is that the, shop, the, the shopping centre isn't too manic. And third hurdle is that the Disney store isn't, well, A, is open, and B, isn't like crazy cute people. So those are the hurdles. Oh, I feel a bit silly in my mask, but we'll have to do it. So we're in, I don't know if you can hear me behind a mask, but we're in the centre. And it's not too bad, like not everyone is wearing their masks in the centre. Um, and I don't really know what the rules are if you're not in a specific shop, but here you go guys. Pandora. Um, it has changed a bit, hasn't it, since we were last here? So on the floor it says keep, keep left. Um, but I would say that people aren't doing that on the whole. Um, the Disney store is to the right. I'm really sorry, it's really difficult for me to see what's on the camera because the screen's broken, but hopefully you guys get the idea. Guys, look! He did it. What? He did it last night. Oh, brilliant. I've seen this on somewhere. Oh yeah, we got this in our bedroom. I kind of love the mug. So I'm just going to film without comment commenting because um, I'm just a bit overwhelmed by everything. So they definitely have more in line than they do on the shop. Um, like none of this was on. Oh my god, amazing. Yeah, there's loads more here. Oh look. We definitely have to get that. Yeah. Can you what song does it play? What's this? Pegantus. I've never seen the movie. They've got loads more than they had online. Oh, I love that one too. Um, amazing. What I might do is I might just show you guys around the shop and then we'll come back and get the there stuff we much, want. Actually. And then, um... I'm quite cheap. And then... Yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm really sorry, guys. Oh, no, and then when I get home, I'll show you. I'll show you guys what we bought. Um, I think that's probably the simplest thing. Oh, I just, do you know what? I just love Pegasus. I got this dude online. He's great. I can't find the ears I want to the gingerbread ears. Um, Excellent song playing in the background. Oh, so upset if they don't have the ears. But I don't think they've got the gingerbread ears, which I'm really upset about. These are the mugs. Um, 
But we're gonna go shopping now and we'll show you what we get later. Um, okay, so I sort of got what we wanted to, so I'm feeling less stressed. I don't know why, does anyone else just love the like the pea pods? Like I think for some reason they please me. Um also love Nana and love the dog from Coco, I can't remember his name. Love Lucifer. Um, these are sort of cute. I just don't know what, you, what I do with these things, you know, there's just no room in my life for cuddly. We're having the best time. We just went to Ugg and I tried on the most amazing coat. So I'm really hoping Father Christmas is going to get me. It was amazing. Um, I saw it online and it was on the Christmas list, but now I've tried it on, it's been reaffirmed that I need it. Um, but we, we think the centre closes soon, like all the doors are half shut. We're going to pop into coach quickly and then probably go home because I guess everything has been shut. It's like five to seven. Okay, we just finished in coach. I like Buzz Central. Going out, having some bit of normality, it's just my new high. Um, so we've just seen that John Lewis in Westfield closes at eight. So we're going to go over there because when in Rome. Um, and we did want a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, which is there, but it's quite a crammed little space, and if you can see. And it just doesn't feel like social distancing has been practiced. Um, and when you have to stand still, it freaks me out. So we're not going to do that, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Better to be safe than have a pumpkin spice latte. Okay, we're in John Lewis, which is amazing. Um, so quiet and so pretty. Decorations are up, loving it. So every year Alex and I have an ornament, Christmas ornament game, where basically we go to the same shop. Usually it's Disney. We pick like three to five ornaments each and then get back to, in private and then get back together and then pick our Christmas ornament for the year. Look how cool these crackers are. God, I'm getting really distracted. Oh, I, I need a dog cracker, clearly. Hello, I do. Um, so that's what we're doing now. So if you guys wanna, I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera. I'm not gonna kind of love him. I might not be able to hold the camera and do this. Um, he's cute. So I might have to go, but I'll show you what we both pick. Oh, I just don't want to leave you guys out. So this is like the white snowy section. Um, I'm gonna go have a look. And then this is the autumnal section where I just picked up that little foxy dog. We are getting this dude. We've decided on that. We are getting this dude as well. Because he's great. Um, but we just have to pick our collective one now. Okay, this is the red section. Look at this dude. Random fish. Um, I, does look, I bet you Alex will choose the lucky cat if he's seen it. Um, it's really hard for me to hold this. I'm, I'm not going to. Um, wait, there's sushi. Um, let me just do a quick pan for you guys. That's all. I mean, you could literally find... I kind of like the grapes. Okay, I will see you guys in a sec. Okay, these are what Alex picks. Talk us through it. Bear doesn't count. Hmm? So you've got a crown. A oh, because you became British? Yeah. Very clever. I like... Oh, yeah, it's that's quite cute. It is nice. And he's got a teddy bear. Yeah. It's like birdie. I did see that, but we actually already have that one. Oh, okay. Forgot. And him. Mm -hmm. This is you. This okay, is. well, will you put mine down? So that's. Yeah, I was looking at him. Foxy. Oh, it's just a cat. Lucky cat. I thought you were going to pick that. Oh, I haven't seen it. Where, where did you get it from? The, like, oriental train. Oh, yeah. Um. What's this going? 
It's a squirrel like, with a bushy tail. I thought he was kind of cool. This one, because Alex and I swan each other. And I saw the blue one, but I haven't seen the, the green one. So this one, but I got more than three. And then the elephant, I just thought he was so cute. cute. And then the two dinosaurs, because Alex and I do say we're each other's dinosaur. Okay, so which one do we pick? I literally don't know either. Mm. What do you guys think? Well, by the time you give me your opinion, well, I've already got it. <sighs> but you know, give me your opinion. I don't like this. You don't like it? I really like it. Okay, this is what we went for because um, we use this emoji for each other on um, the phone. The dip of the day, because we're both tall and have a long neck, so it's like our thing. But we're also getting these these because we like these um, the elephant and the Alex loves that Christmas tree um, but now we're going to look at other Christmas decorations and I'll check in with you guys at the end um, that was literally so much fun did you have a good evening yeah it was so much fun I get like does anyone else get a super dry throat when you're wearing a mask because I do and it freaks me out because I worry that I have like a humidifier what is the mask. Oh, my mascara has gone completely. Um, I get worried that I get corona when I'm in a when I'm wearing a mask a long time because I get a really dry, scratchy throat and I start feeling ill. And then I have to remind myself it's probably because of the mask, which might sound like a little bit dramatic. But don't you find when you get ill during this lockdown, you're worried that it's something mage? Um, or I do, anyway. Um, we didn't end up getting that. Um, decoration that we showed you the dinosaur we didn't end up getting it. it just didn't feel right you know when you just you know when you walk into a new house and you feel like it's your home and you buy that house or I don't know <laughs> how else to liken it you just get a feeling about something I didn't have that feeling and then Alex was at the till about to buy it along with some other stuff and I saw some decoration decorations by Alessi um, which are a little bit on the like dear price but because it's our special decoration of the year I like called Alex out the queue and we picked one which is really cool and it both reminded us of this of the small world of small world, the small world ride um so yeah we were there till closing like literally one of the last people in John Lewis we had a brilliant time because I just don't know whether we'll get to see the John Lewis decorate Christmas decorations again before Christmas so you just never know and that's something I do every year tradition wise so I'm so happy that we were able to do that because if we can't do it again, it doesn't matter because we've done it. Definitely. And I tried to show you guys as much as I could, but I was feeling a bit overwhelmed about the time. And, um, you know, about being out as well. Um, so it's now 10 past eight and we're leaving. So we'll probably get home about nine. Um, and then we need to get ready for bed. I always wash in the evening in case you want to know like have a bath or a shower I think you either do it in the mornings or the evenings or if you're oh no her coat's in the door hanging out the door I don't know if you guys can see that that's always sad um especially when it's been raining like it has today um my best friend washes twice a day I don't know how why we're on the subject don't worry. um anyway I'm gonna go and uh, I did take, take some pictures of the tree decorations which I'm going to upload to Instagram on my stories so if you saw it this is when that was from Woo. someone's not happy we went shopping and left her look at the teeny tiny tail I'm oh, sorry Heidi she doesn't like me going out do you? it was sad it's okay I'm home now I thought I'd show you guys just quickly what I got tonight. I bought this bag to put our stuff in because I just thought it was quite cool and I needed a bag to put it in. I don't know how much it was, so the receipt is here. Two, two pounds, jeez. It's quite cool though. And I did need a bag. Okay, so this <laughs> was a bit of a impulse buy but it is excellent actually and it's probably what I'm most excited about this was £20 I believe no there's no £20 on here £17 apparently but look at this I mean I love a, a cup 
Oh my god, that's even cooler now that we're in it semi-dark. I mean, how awesome is that? Dying. Absolutely dying. Does it do other type of... Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not sure that could be any cooler. That is legit my new favourite drinking vessel. And Cinderella is my favourite princess, so... I mean, that is just delightful. So we've got this acorn with Chip and Dale in, um, which I just thought was really cute. And that apparently was £13. And on the back it says Chip, Chip, Chip and Dale the Moana, which is actually pretty chunky. Um, but it is, it's cool. Really, oh, she's even got her, I was going to say stick, but her oar. But I sort of love the Maui sun. Like, I think that's really cool. Uh, it does play the song. I'm going to play it for you. Hopefully I won't get copyrighted problems. Maybe I'll just play the tiniest amount for you, but you'll get the idea. Uh, that Maui, the Moana ornament plays the song for so long. Oh, my goodness. And then, okay, so this was also sold out online, and I really like it because um, I just think it's really cute, and I do love Lady in the Camp, and I just thought it was, God, it's really hard to show this cheek upside down, guys, so I'm really sorry. Um, the baby's in there. <laughs> Can you see the baby? A little head. And I just quite like all the detail of Lady. Sorry, the lighting's not very good. It's just an all-rounder. Piece, and I do enjoy it and 65th anniversary so that was um, 13 pounds oh I didn't tell you how much Moana was Moana was I think Moana was 15 pounds from the looks of it okay. John Lewis <sighs> we absolutely don't need any more Christmas wrapping paper but last year I got loads of Martha Stewart Christmas wrapping paper which is really similar to this pattern from TK Maxx and I absolutely loved it like obsessed with the pattern and I saw that we still have some left but I saw this in John Lewis it's 10 meters which I thought was loads so I think that's good and it goes with what we have left with Martha Stewart so I got that um and John Lewis is generally pretty good and 10 I mean 10 meters is a lot for five pounds so I thought I'll get that I got some tinsel wrap. Um, this is to cover your presents in, I guess. Or you, I mean, you could deco decorate anything with it. But it was in the gift wrapping section, you know, with the ribbons and stuff. And I just thought that was quite a cool idea. It doesn't go with this wrapping paper, but whatevs. Seven and a half meters. That was six quid. So I'm really not showing you this in in any particular order. I did get the Dog Cracker. Um, and it doesn't come, this is five pounds, it doesn't come with um, the bang, which is good because our puppy hates that. And it comes with a hat, a motto and a toy, which I thought was quite sweet. And she will pull that, especially if we put um, a biscuit in there. Okay, so this is our Christmas decoration that um, I told you we swapped out. This is by Alessi. And I believe, I believe it was £31, but it could have been a little bit more. It could have been 34 I'll get it out and show you. But I think it's quite a nice presentation box. Like, I think this is a good commemorative Christmas decoration for us. So let me just get this out of the box. So I think it's a cool box. And in here is a list of um, all the other ones you can get. Oh, let me, let me see if I can find ours. I knew it was the old, okay, so ours is the old man in the sea. Um, I really liked this one as well. No, not that one. I didn't see that one. I don't know what I'm talking about. They're really nice, anyway. <laughs> okay, so here he is. He's really cool. I love him. Um, I think these are actually really nice. And there's a little fishing rod. But you can kind of see why we thought it was small wild esque. 
Um, so that's our special Christmas globe, 2020. And then, oh, we got these ribbons, just um, eight by two meter ribbons in varying shades of green, which I thought would go quite nicely with the red there. Um, these were 10 pounds. We got this doormat, which was £10, and I actually think that from John Lewis, that's really reasonable. They had three of these, and this one I loved the most because it was really bright and vibrant, um, so I just thought it was really cool. And the other two things I think I showed you guys were the little, that little wooden brown bear and that we said we were going to get, we did get him. And the owl figure so we got that as well so that is everything we bought um so it was a really fun fun trip but Heidi was just not happy that we were out I, well especially me and she's used to Alex being out but she was not happy that I was out because she's not used to me being away actually my mascara is really itchy sorry excuse me um so yeah I'm gonna go have a quick bath I think I've already been through this with you so I'm really sorry anyway I'll see you guys soon I'm actually quite impressed with my like waves in the camera, but they're unintentional. Don't you find your hair creates natural waves when you don't mean them to? Like I just had my hair tied up today and it, and I didn't dry it when I washed it last night. But if I tried to achieve this, like if I tried to get a curl or a wave, it just would never look like this. Why is that? Explain someone. It's arrived, it's arrived. In an absolutely huge box. First up is a forky, sorry, oh, oh hiccups ornament. Um, oh, it's got a bonnet on the bottom. So I quite like the detail of this. It's, he's got glittery buttons. And I'm sure we do have another forky Christmas ornament from last year or the year before, whenever forky came out. Was that last year? And uh, it's a lot heavier and I feel like it was a lot more fragile than this one. This one just feels like a really light plastic, which is better. And this was 17 spoons. Okay, this is the next one. Listen to this. I probably didn't let the whole of her singing play because I'll probably get chopped for copyright but she sings into the unknown <laughs> surprise surprise and this is the ornament that we saw in Disneyland Paris last year and she so um just on closer inspection sorry she is obviously Elsa and this is just like plastic it doesn't light up or do anything special but she does sing the song and she was 15 pounds so she was more expensive than Forky did I get that right I wonder why Forky was £17 when he's less material and doesn't sing. Interesting. OMG, I love this one. Look at the bell tinkles as well. Is it going to focus? There we go. I mean, isn't he cute? That's the scene from Little Mermaid near the end, I believe. When Yeah, it must be because they're getting married on their cake toppers. I just think that's so cute. And his little crab bum. Love this one. This was cheaper. £13. Love him. Love this one, like, in love. I love Ariel's detail too. Great. Oh my goodness, how cute is Dumbo? He was £13 and he is just adorable. Is it going to focus on him? Maybe I have to put him here. Isn't he so cute? And the, he's on, like, the clouds are on this weird plasticky string thing. Sorry, it's really... That, so he's he's sort of fluid. This is obviously Forky and oh cute. He was sixteen pounds, and I just thought he'd be a nice decoration somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where yet, but I think he'll be a nice feature. And he he's kind of solid, but also doesn't stand up on his own. Oh, there we go. Standing up on his own two feet. So he is excellent. He is really great. I love him. This is what I was most excited about this 
gingerbread cookie house. I love the detail on it. It was £36. It's still in its plastic. I'm trying to do this all one-handed. So on the one side we've got a Goofy. Love all the hidden Mickeys everywhere. On this side we have... Presumably that's Daisy Duck. Would you say? Oh, I just love these hidden Mickeys. This is an excellent... And the gingerbread mini mouse, Mickey and Minnie Mouse that I love. I'm in love with this. Oh yeah, Daisy and Donald. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the vlog and say goodbye. Um, because it seems like the natural place to start. But thank you for watching and I hope you're well and I'll see you next time.